Action on the ice might not seem a natural fit with the hard work of construction, but for these hopeful chippies, the sport put them on the path to the skills they needed on the work side. We use the team environment to teach skills that are really life skills, such as persistence, such as sacrifice, such as encouraging each other. I was a troubled young one, but then when I found out about the Ice Factor, the Ice Factor helped me and pushed me forward a lot. That helped me boost my confidence. Tyson and Riley were part of the Ice Factor Challenge, a program which takes disillusioned youth and helps them get their skates on towards success. It takes a carrot and stick approach, letting the students enjoy sport, but only if they make an effort in other areas of their education. I learnt resilience, so if I fell over, get back up, try again, start work. If you don't get it right, measure it up again, cut it again, make it perfect. We teach every child to be a leader. And to see their confidence grow, um, and their ability to co contribute to our community was absolutely fantastic. Both Tyson and Riley say they're full of pride having earned their certificates. Very proud of myself for continuing and then sticking to it for the eight to nine weeks we did it for. I see myself, I've come a long way from being, as they say, the naughty kid to now a mentor. It's not just the, the skills they gain from the activities, it's also engaging with the, the workforce in creating friendships that hopefully yield real benefits in the future. However, the program may face a cloudy future. The lease on the increasingly rundown ice arena is set to expire in the coming years. There are now calls for the government to step up and ensure the sport has somewhere to go. It'd be great to have the government back us for a facility that would enable us to deliver greater outcomes.